All right, a pitching change for Southwest Christian has put Katie Sands there in the circle. And she will face Samantha Selman, the catcher, senior, 636 hitter, best hitting average of any All Saints. And Selman watches one go by. And one for one today. And came around to score back in the fourth. And uh, quickly, Katie Sands has fallen behind to Samantha Selman. Two and up. Pitch, this one, right down Main Street for a strike. Katie Sands, as we said, has only pitched two innings this year, has an 0-1-1 record in a 42 ERA, so. A bit high. First base is open, all Saints, one away. Top of the fourth, bat it around. Runners at second and third for the Saints. The pitch, this one skims the dirt. And Selman is aboard with a walk. Raven Jones. Two for two. Walked in this inning, came around to score. Back at it from the right side. Watches a strike to open things up. Upcoming schedule for all Saints. Well, they will play Fort Worth Christian, the 7-0 Fort Worth Christian. This one has popped up left side of the infield and caught by the shortstop, Grace Harrison. And that will freeze the runners in a nice play by the junior shortstop, Harrison. Two away. The pitcher, Peyton Hefner, steps in. 0 for 2 today, walked earlier this inning and came around to score. But the Saints will play Fort Worth Christian. As Hefner takes the first one for a strike. Tuesday, on the 24th of April. You can see that game here live and archived at Texas 24-7 television network at texas24.net. The pitch is a liner hard in the left field. Gets underneath the glove of Caroline Comer and left goes up against the wall. One run, two runs, three runs come across for all Saints. And Hefner has a three RBI double. It has been tough going out there in left field today for Fort Worth Christian. The wind has died down slightly. Still blowing pretty steady at about 15 mile an hour out to center field. In steps Marissa Neal. And she takes the first one for a strike. And Katie Sands seems to be finding her groove. At least as far as location goes, that was just Peyton Hefner belting that ball. Turning around on it. The 1 nice bunt that just dives right in front of home plate and is thrown over the head of first baseman Jillian Norman. Peyton Hefner comes home and standing at second on the single, reaching on an error is Marissa Neal. And out comes Fort Worth Christian head coach Jennifer Klein to get a little bit of a ruling to see if that maybe hit the plate or was even a fair ball. And I believe the, the point of contention is uh, coach Jennifer Klein is saying that the ball also hit her bat twice. So let's take a look at it here on the Texas 24-7 television network. Yeah, you can see there it hits her hand, so. 
but the ruling is that the ball hit the plate. Which, for all that, just makes that a foul ball. They do not employ instant replay here at the TAPS conference, <laughs> but we do here at the Texas 24-7 television network, just for your benefit, sir. All right, so. And we're still getting some clarification from Rodney Franklin. And back at first is Peyton Hefner. And now uh, Peyton Hefner was at second. So 0 and 2 the count. You may have heard that through my microphone. I was talking to uh, Rodney Franklin, the home plate umpire in the parking lot before the game started. He's quite the character. But An interesting game, certainly, to call. All right, so two outs, an 0-2, and, and the swing on this one, it's a foul, and back into the chain league, backstop. Is that they, they say much ado about? No? Eighteen to nothing, All Saints lead. Top of the fourth, two away. Runner at second, and uh, Marissa Neal watches a pitch just a bit low, and that is ball one. And the lineup from Katie Sands, and that's a strikeout. So Marissa Neal strikes out looking for the third out to finally end at the top of the fourth. Four hits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven runs. Count along with me, folks. One error and one left on. Let's head to the bottom of the fourth, shall we, as the Eagles come up to bat and take a brief time out here on the Texas 24-7 Television Network. 